up, friends? This is Jazz. Not bringing you a Let's Play, but this is going to be a new series. It's going to be a Sims Let's Talk. Now, this might happen every two weeks, once a month. It's not going to be a continuing Let's Play. Not always going to be the same file. It's just going to be where I kind of talk about some things in the game, that the file that I'm playing, and just updates in general. Because I've realized that <coughs> I do not bring enough Sims content. So instead of con like continuing a challenge or a Let's Play, I would, I would focus on this. Now... I am post-narrating this now because a lot of things did not work out in the live narration, so... Even with it being a talking-style video, I did a little too much rambling on The Sims itself. So, I've been, like, too focused on playing the game, like always. Also, you may see some editing parts, like, I've been trying to edit before I narrated it, but I just could not find what I was looking for, so I could see it more in slow mode when I'm trying to speed through something. But anyway, the main reason that I wanted to do this was that I noticed a lot of funny things happening in my game. Like how I'm doing, I got this, this mod for the trait, the 50 baby challenge or the 100 baby challenge, and... My gosh, that was just hilarious. And, like, for example, this kid there, uh, as I said, I only got seven kids and I forget their names already. I believe I forget who he was, Pete. Yeah, I think so. He literally made a mess. Like, the first time I had triplets, right? Which were Ryan, I think it was Ryan, Leah, and Colin. And then I, Flad, Fladius just happened to come around. And then I had quads. So three and four is seven. I have... Yeah, as I said, I'm showing you Leah and all them at this point. Who they all are, that's Colin. I never edited the other four yet, so you'll be seeing that through this video too. But, I got Pete. Or no, that's not Pete. There's Pete. It's Jimmy who made the mess, Jimmy. Janice... And Win. Well, that's Goldby, that's the cat. Win. So, like, Jimmy just literally made a huge mess, and I honestly couldn't keep track of them. I'm like, my gosh, could you picture what the family picture would be, or the Christmas cards? Yeah, like the whole our family to yours with one kid pulling her hair, the other throwing something on the floor. Well, all in all, all in all, Cecilia looking in despair. And see, now Janice is about to do it. <sighs> you see what I go through? Thank God this is not real life. Honestly, I honestly think that I wouldn't have any children left by the time my nerves got down. But anyway, I also said this was going to be a update for you as well. So, what have I been up to? I mean, if anything stands out, I'll, I'll point it out here. I've been trying to contact a seller. I was trying to buy Pokemon Fire Red and Pokemon Ruby, which the first time around, he said there was a Chinese festival going on. I guess that made sense. It was Lunar New Year this year, I believe, in Japan and China. So, okay, I gave him to the 13th. Then I, I messaged him again. He said, oh, like, I was going to ship it to you, whatever, today, but they ran out of stock. And I'm like, wait, what? I ordered. When I ordered it, they were in stock. Fire Red was in stock when I ordered it. And I could see clear as day that it wasn't in stock. Why? 
if you couldn't ship anything because of the Chinese festival, how could this game I had already ordered be out of stock? I did decide to, like, it was $10 for both of them. I decided just to give them a little more faith, a little bit longer. I said, okay, I may have gave them two messages, but the second one, I'm like, okay, ship me Ruby. I'll take Ruby. When you get Fire Red, you can ship that. I want at least one of them. If I can get Ruby, I want to get Ruby. Right? And if I have to cancel Fire Red, I'll tell them I'll cancel Fire Red. I just, like, I want, if I can get one of them, I want to be able to get them. Right now, I'm doing good. I'm playing on an emulator. I know. But just to get it out of my system, so I won't be as upset about it. And I can sort of play it properly on the emulator. But yeah, actually, he looks really cute, Pete. Although, I'm going to realize soon that I don't, I have to edit them in a different way because Wynn is not in the frame because i got nine Sims, so I'm going to have to start editing different ways. I still can't get over what chaos that was causing. My gosh, and it's just my Sim on her own. Just... Just Cecilia on her own with all these kids. <sighs> but, anyway, hopefully I'll figure that whole game situation out. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, I did, like, the thing is, yes, it took a while for Emerald and Leaf Green to come in, but at least they did. At least they were shipped. At least I had no issues like this. And... You would think, well, why don't I just ask for my money back? I'm waiting a little bit longer, because I do want Ruby and Fire Red. And yeah, here it is. She's with her father. So I can edit Win. Win separately. Well, I'm giving it another shot. If in a week or so nothing is heard from or whatever, I'll just request my money back. Like... Honestly, it sounds like the guy, first I thought, this guy's making excuses to get my money, but he keeps offering it back, but would he find an excuse to not be able to get it back? Like, oh, I tried, I guess it's too late to get it back. Or something, like, I don't know. And I did tell him I went through a lot with other shippers. So if he was trying to pull, trying to pull something on me, then I probably would know it. So, yeah, that is pretty much it about the games. I'll let you know as I update on how they went. Honestly, I, I actually find it a lot of fun editing these Sims now, especially when I randomize some of the clothes. It really helps with the long overhaul of doing it. It doesn't mean I don't choose some of them, too, but... You know, I choose out of the ones I randomize, and if it none of them seems well and ha dandy, I just, you know, go and look at some myself. I also decided not to use too much custom makeup. I want them to look natural of what their parents created. And I think Wynn is really cute. She looks a lot like her mother and father's eyes, and she's a vampire like her father. <laughs> So, I, I like the outfit, I just don't like the color. I mean, I like blue, I love blue, but I just, on her, I don't. Wait, wait, is this a lion? Oh, that would be adorable. So, you might be getting this on Valentine's Day. That is my plan, so happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, I forgot to say it. It's a day of love. Well, to be fair for me, that's just really sad. Girl, no, you're not wearing glasses. I mean, that the dress is kind of cute, though. We'll just have to see if there's anything that looks better. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. That looks good. What else? So as I said, I was as I said I wasn't at work for the last little while because I was not feeling good whatsoever. Oh God, God, really? When 
you're a brony. Okay, you're a female, so I guess that doesn't count. Do I? Do I don't want that thing on you. Oh, jeez. You know what? Go ahead. It's just your bedwear. You know, that actually is kind of cute on Wid. She is a wild sim, so I'm going to let her do that just for bed. I'm not having that all over her head any other wear. But her and her little pony friend. But normally, yeah, I don't really celebrate Valentine's very much. I mean, I did make a whole bunch of cards for some of the individuals at my work place. So, although I'm going to have to give that to them Tuesday, because I'm really not going anywhere tomorrow. As I said, I know TMI, but whenever I eat, it, it isn't pleasant at all. I mean, I guess I know I have irritable bowel, but there's such thing as... What is it? There's such thing as... Too far. Or too, like, out of control. And that, it's just like, when you can barely eat anything, and you just have it bad. Yeah, you're probably wondering, do I, did I go to a doctor, or, or someone? No, no, not yet. For one, we don't have a family doctor. But, oh, that actually, that is also kind of cute. I'm going to check the bathing suit, but I think I'll let you wear the sunglasses. You do you, boo. That looks really cool. And you know what? I just changed the color of these. And that looks cute too. But, I mean, there is an outpatient yeah. where we are. Or a walk-in clinic. But, right now, I'm giving it a little bit longer. I mean, it might just be a flu bug. Because I don't think I've ever had it to the point where all I have to do is eat and then very shortly after I have an issue. I made the joke, any consolation, maybe this week I'll lose weight. Because I couldn't keep much of anything in. That's cute. So what am I doing for Let's Plays? I'm still working on them. Like, I definitely finished a recording, uh, recording. And I'll, I'll tell you, but, and some of them will be coming out, some of them won't. I recorded Elmo and Grouchland. I'm looking for it for you guys to see that. Yes, again, I know, I know okay, not again, because you guys are, I know it's a game meant for young kids, but, it's entertaining, honestly, for something that, for someone that young. And it's easier, so. As I said, I am not good with platforms, formers whatsoever. And this is obviously a change-up for me. Kind of like the Simba's Mighty Adventure was. Yep, now we're going to do the other kids. I honestly think I did a really good job with Wynn. I mean, I thought I'd do Wynn, even though she was the last one. I would do her while I was, you know, there. So, but yeah, I'm recording different series. I recorded Elmo Grouchland. That one is up on the channel, but it is scheduled. So, you won't get that until, like, May-ish? Late April, May? So, that won't be for a little bit. I'm recording it. I'm just, all I need to do is post-narrate this. I am recording Bit Life. Now, I know it seems like it's being overdone, but it, by the time you see it, most of it will be done. Most of the hype will be done, so that won't be until, like, maybe June. You see that? And I'm just, I'm mostly talking about the projects that I'm pretty sure will be in the works at this point. 
I mean, I, I really am still recording Pokemon Ultra Moon. When I say recording, I mean I have that on the back burner. I've been play, playing other things, but I really do want to finish it, is pretty much what it is. That's what I mean by that. I'm also, same status for the Fractured Butthole. I am more active with that than I am with Ultra Moon, but I'm still like, it'll take a long time to finish the Fractured Butthole because the fact that not only do I have to record it with my camera at a certain time of the day, I gotta get my aunt to fix that window I have, the I have a black curtain, for I can do it more frequently. I mean, that's really cute on Pete, but yeah, that's better for the, for the wear he is, that he's in. What was I gonna say? And try to think like I gotta get my aunt to fix the black curtain so I can record during the day too but as I said I had to record with my camera at a certain time of the day I have to transfer it to the computer I have to bring it in and convert it to a certain format yeah and I think I use any video converter for that I'm trying to remember then I gotta put it all in Camtasia, bring it together, edit it, then I gotta narrate it. Do you see where I'm coming from? It take it'll take a while. And the worst thing is the fact that I can only hold record so much at a time because of the battery. So I don't have almost limitless time to play the game and record it, unlike most of my projects. So when I start, I gotta commit to that session. Like, for example, if I was, like, okay, when I say that, I mean with the narrating the footage. Once I get this all up and start post-narrating, I'm fine. Like, if I wanted to stop this right now, the post-narrating, and get back to it, I learned that I can, which really helps me with my stomach. So, I said, like, like, but when I commit to something, Recording it from the TV, I gotta commit to that session, so I really gotta get myself mentally prepared Physically like whether I get water or go to the washroom to make sure I'm good And all that like I have to kind of do that I mean that's the thing though like the fractured buttholes a game that I really want to bring you guys even if it's not in the best visual quality and, because it, it's a game that I, I did play through it myself, and I really enjoyed it. I mean, I don't know if it'll be as enjoyable recording it as a Let's Play. But, hopefully it'll be just as much fun. And I really, think, speaking of, I really am going to have to narrate that Fractured Butthole. The three, I got three parts done footage wise so I'm gonna have to really narrate if I can get a lot of the footage off the computer because they bring up a lot of they um what is it they use a lot of space so that way I can get the narration of them done I'm definitely not doing that tonight though I'm working on this video here and that might be the extent of it because it's like 6 6 30 already So, what else is new? That isn't, like... I've been debating on other Let's Plays. Yes, I know, because of me, I'm all, it's not like I'm busy enough. But there's just so many games that I want to do, right? Like, one main thing I'm thinking of eventually bringing in... Don't count on this anytime soon, because this is going to be uploaded almost as soon as I'm finished, when it's fully finished. So, yeah... I'm thinking of recording a, a redo of Rugrats Search for Reptar. I It was like, what, four years or so since I've played it? Almost five, so... And I'm more of experienced at it. So I thought, why not? But at the same token... I do have any, a lot of other projects to do. 
so that might be put on the back burner, but it is a thought in my mind. So I honestly hope you guys hopefully look for it to it sometime in the future. Am I doing the Walking Dead final season? As of this... Ugh, how do I put it? I do plan to do it, but it will not be anytime soon. For one, I do plan to record that on my TV as well, like South Park. And I don't own the game yet. Yeah, I don't own the game yet. I have a lot of other priorities. That That's another thing I can bring up in this update. I hopefully will eventually buy a CD ex like external drive. I think that's what they call it, where you... Like, my, my laptop has no area to insert CDs. It's one of those new ones that apparently don't need them. You know... So I'm going to buy a CD drive that you can put the USB in and it attaches so that I can play some of my old games on this computer. I sure hope that works. Like, I don't care if the quality is a little bit down. I just want to play The Sims 2. And some of the other games that I bought, hopefully I can play them. So, yeah, so and that's $44. So I'm buying that first before I focus on The Walking Dead or anything else. Right now having a CD drive is more important to me than the other games. And I'm, I'm really sticking, what is it, stick, what do they say, putting my foot down, really trying to hold off, buying other things. And honestly, I would have gotten it tomorrow if I had gone to work. But I'm not, as I said, I don't know how I would be able to handle work without my stomach has been. But I'm, I'm, Tuesday, I am pushing myself. Hopefully, I'll get, I'll get better over the weekend to be able to stomach some food. Like, like, even, like, even drinks, though. Even drinks can set me off. And, I mean, that could be a sign of a flu bug, if anyone can tell me who's watched it long enough. Or maybe I'll ask. I don't know, or if I should be really concerned. Because, as I said, I have never had it to that point. So, like, I've, I've eaten, yes, I've gotten set off by food before, but I've never got set off so frequently, like, in the ferocity Honestly, like, it went from being really painful to kind of scary. I mean, again, you're probably thinking, then why not try to go to some type of clinic? Well, one, I don't know if the walk-in clinic would really just simply... I would have to be more in the ER to really go where I want to get tested. I don't think a simple walk-in clinic doctor would say, mm, Oh, yes, this is serious, or... Like, that wouldn't be their first thought. I mean, they have other patients, too. Like, I wouldn't be able to be simply checked properly there. Whether it was just a flu bug or it wouldn't be able to be checked properly. Like, I don't know. I mean, it might. It might be just a simple evaluation where, you know, where some doctors have to press on your stomach or whatever to see whether it's a flu or if it hurts a certain area or... Honestly, I don't think mine does, though. It could be that my irritable belt is far worse severe than I thought. Or I could be right, and it could be a severe flu bug. I'm already on the last kid. Wow. Okay, you're not wearing that. You're not wearing that. I'm sorry, you're not wearing that to bed. And I don't really like the shirt on you either. Oh, that's cute, though. <laughs> but yeah, I know this is weird, me just talking about stuff while playing The Sims, but it's better than seeing my face, isn't it? Okay, I know, like, I should, like, Jazz, what self-confidence do you have? I've shown my face before, and I don't mind doing it. But I'm also probably speaking what's on some of your mind, seeing my face all the time, but to actually just see gameplay. 
Not saying that I'm not, like, when I do toy openings and card openings, hey, you're seeing my face. Ugly or not. And again, guys, I don't have low self-esteem or anything. I'm mostly kidding. Oh my god, Janice. Yes, you're adorable, but no, honey. You're not wearing that. Gee, oh, she has the same fashion style as me. No, I don't go walking around with bunny ears on. Okay, maybe as I said, I may be saying the same fashion style as me was a little... Uh, I'm not the best at fashion, honestly. It may not, it may seem so in some situations, but I don't. Oh, well, that is cute enough. I'll just have to change your shirt. I mean, to some degree, I have fashion sense when it comes to dressing my young sims, but when it comes to dressing myself, I go for what's comfortable. I'm not saying I would dre I would I would wear a My Little Pony on my head or a bunny ears and that on my head, but I mostly want to be comfortable, and I can understand that. Like people who do. Some people, like, some people want to just be fashionistas and all that all their life for me. Well, yeah, but will being a fashionista get you through the day? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I suppose some fashionista knows how to be comfortable, too, but I'm not saying all fashionistas are like that. But the ones who just don't care how they feel, and they just they go in these high heels and the skirts and everything... I know this sounds weird, and I don't have any disrespect, and I forgot she was over there, so I invited her to come to the house. Jeez, if I had seen that while I was playing, gosh, how stupid. But I just want to get her... Oh, wait, no, I added her to family. Good, good. You're in the family now. Perfect. Perfect. So now look at all the kids and all the mess and... Oh my gosh. Getting rid of these these things. But yeah, again, I apologize for those who think why are you making fun of those who have good fashion sets and everything? Like I respect them all to them, all to how what anyone wants to dress like. But it's just in my viewpoint I don't get it. Right? Like I know I'm a girl, whatever I should be all to some of you, like, I should be all girly and feminine and or understand it. I don't. I don't. Right? I just don't see it. Like, if you could be comfortable, then why not choose that? Who would choose hard climbing shoes, walking shoes over comfortable sneakers or even slippers? Okay, I know you can't wear slippers to the office. That's a rule, unfortunately. But... Even in that, sneakers. I mean, or shoe, like, plain flat shoes. Even if it can't be sneakers. Plain fat, flat shoes. Yeah, I know. I just don't get it, and I don't. That's just the way my mindset works. Yeah, Mama's cleaning up. Well, all the munchkins are distracted. And one gut level three. Colin. So, what else? Oh, yeah, Leah got level three as well. Let me see. I'm trying to think what else is new. What else I plan on bringing to the channel. Well, another thing I guess I can say is you're going to be getting a Let's Play in the next month or two. Or so. Or maybe even in the next week or so. I don't know. But Simulacra. That I'm looking forward to bringing to you guys. It's a fun game, kind of scary, but it's fun. 
that's already on the channel again. So I can kind of announce that, like, my gosh, like, I've had so much fun playing that game, and I finished playing that game, but I had the loss of internet as well, so it was one of those games that got me through a really hard time, next to binge-watching South Park, Family Guy, The Simpsons, Futurama, never really watched American Dad yet. Honestly, I don't know why I chose that over, didn't choose that over Family Guy. Maybe because I knew more about Family Guy. So I just thought it would be easier to follow. But as I said, I had a very long period without internet. About a month almost. It was really a hard period for me. And it may happen again, so I have to be prepared for that, like, completely. So if there's ever a time that it seems like I've gone completely off... Then that's probably the reason why, but even then I'll try to get you to get updates to you guys and that. See, I'm giving all my older Sims some toys to get their imagination skill up. Because they've maxed out, or not maxed out, I'm sorry, they got level 3 on party like, physical or walking and thinking, so, or movement or whatever and thinking, so, I want to get them started. I always get them all to level 3, and then after I get them all level 3, I look at their personality or whatever, their trait, and really think about what I want them to go towards. Then I get them to work to level 5 and one of one or two of the other skills. That's how I do it when I play through a game on my own. Although this is a little more complicated because of the baby trait. The ironic thing about this baby trait is that you have to do it with one sim. So yeah, that sucks. So, or try to do it with one sim. So, I'm, that's why I tend to give birth to kids quicker. So, I have seven sims in this house. Well, including my little, little kitty there. We're potty training Pete. The worst thing is, is that when I'm trying to work with one sim, the others are so... Ugh... Wait, is that Vlad? Oh my god. Y yes, 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 yes. You're actually going to spend time with your children. Like, you go away. You talk to daddy. Tell him to body drain you. Talk to him. Find something to do. Get him to... No, no, no. I need you to potty train it. Ah. Where is the potty train? Okay, no, there's there's no option. No option there? <sighs> Fine. I, I have to go and get him to potty... Go potty help... Go, go be a good daddy, Vlad. Go, go on, go be a good father. Go, go be a good father. Wait, wait, where are you going? Come back, Vlad! That neglectful son of a... I'm not going to continue that statement. Let's just hope his child support payment is okay. I mean, he has a mansion, doesn't he? So he should at least have some money. Jeez. Oh, he, he was just doing that to get my hopes up, wasn't he? He's like, hi there. Oh, oh I can't. Uh, no, 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 no. Bye. Th I swear. That's what it. What he was doing. Like, he, as soon as he saw a, a kid running for him. Bye. Is one of his traits hates children? I never checked. Might be. <laughs> My god. So I admit that was a little funny. Gosh darn it, Vlad. I mean, I guess I'm the one who got you into bed. <sighs> that is all my fault. <laughs> it's all my fault that I'm miserable. 
<sighs> well, as I said, I've never had a genuinely hard time with this challenge before. I mean, usually by the time I'd have my next group of kids, the others would be t not teenagers necessarily, children. No, this time around I got seven toddlers. Okay, good. Ryan has his imagination full. What else was I going to say? Yeah, uh, talk about Simulacra possibly coming out. I'm trying to think of what else. I actually been getting back into recording the tasting videos a little bit, and I got to record a couple more toy openings. We're getting low on toys, actually, surprisingly. Card openings, there's plenty of cards. So, guess I'm good for that. Oh, yes. I need to get some stuffed animals for these rock rats. I got to get two more, you know, for now. Because I'm busy with the other kids otherwise anyways, so, um, sure. I'll get two stuffed animals, so there'll be four. Then I can work with Thor at a time. Oh, come on, fit somewhere. I can work with four kids' communication at a time. Nope. Really? Oh, wait. No, I don't want to go there. That doesn't quite work. Oh, perfect. Perfect. That looks okay. I just find it so funny how angry one sim still is. Is it because I got her out of the house or what? I'm going to have to maybe find a way to just get rid of her angry emotion. But I didn't yet. Not on camera anyway. So it's the older ones that I have to work on with their communication. Just trying to remember that. I think I'm still getting Colin's imagination up though. I'm finally starting to be able to figure these kids apart. Hooray! I made the joke I have so many kids by now I already don't know what the name of who is. So, yeah, so who is talking right now? That would be Ryan. Oh, wait, am I getting good reputation? That's good. I'm, I don't have a career because my career is having kids in here. So, oh, wow, Colin already is full of, full of imagination, so he'll have to go and talk to one of the stuffed animals. But as I said, like, I actually... How do I feel about Get Famous? I actually sort of enjoy it. Like, to, to be honest, I really do. Like, right now I'm focusing more on having the kids, but I'm trying to get some reputation up for my paintings, which look so awkward. I'll get to that in a bit. Maybe it's all the mods I have, like I have the U, U, N, UI or something extension, which is what helps me with the toilet training thing. I also, it also works well with getting a relationship up and down and some other things. I mean, I can, I can update my status too. Like, my, uh, star status with it. Oh, well, Leah's already level three. Gosh, I didn't, that didn't take long. Wait, talk? Oh, well, what is her... I guess she's going to talk! <laughs> my gosh, Leah, you're a charmer! You're a little charmer! I gotta say, I actually like the way I dress them. <laughs> Like, I actually had fun doing this, like, talking to you guys while showing you some of the sims. Like, I just loved some of it, how ridiculous things get. Like, I could tell you stories and that. Like, I've had so many fun times with The Sims 4 when I'm not recording it.
So, I thought maybe ra rather than always show you guys, I'm going to pretty much tell you why I'm playing The Sims so it seems more realistic. Great, Win has got the level 2. Good for you, honey boo. And you're still angry. Gosh darn it, Win. What did I do okay besides dump you off at your father's for a short period of time? What else have I done to you? Yeah, it's probably the only thing that probably will be what scars are. I mean, come on, the guy f ran right away from... Name... Jimmy. He ran right away from Jimmy when he tried to get his attention and help. So I suppose that Wind's time wasn't much better. I mean, what did he do in the short period he was looking after her? Did he think she was a movable plasm ba a plasm pack? Or plasma pack? Oh boy, am I am I full of quotes today? I'm sorry, Wynn, but I'm gonna have to do this to you or one of your siblings again. With their papa. You know, just have fun while you get a makeover, right? Oh god, let's hope I did not scar that kid for life. <sighs> I am now party training. Pete still... Yes, he's done at least. Now I have to go to Jimmy. Don't worry, Jimmy. I won't abandon you like your father. Yeah, I forgot Jimmy's name for like five seconds. But I have so many kids, like, can you blame me? Okay, you know what, I guess you can blame me. Because it's my fault for having so many kids, and I have to have more. But maybe if I'm lucky, I'll get at least 10 of the 50 I need. Gosh, I'd be thrilled just for it to be 25. And if that's it, then that's half, like... And the thing is, it won't carry on to the next sim, so that sucks. That really sucks. I mean, generations should be able to carry it on. You're going to play? No. No, uh... Cecilia has to get Jimmy potty trained. Pretty soon it'll be time for school for all of them. Oh, thank the Lord. Hi, Jimmy. Do you want to be potty trained? Do you want to be a big boy like your brother? Speaking of... Let's uh, use the special little button. Ba boom! You're officially fully body trained. But I got the level two on my own, so it leave me alone. I mean, I have so many kids. Oh, don't run away from me, Jimmy! Listen, look, I know you have abandonment issues, but I never abandoned you. I just did your sister or your your quad sip your sister. Come back, yeah, come back to me, mister. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you come back to me, and, and no, you don't ignore your son, your, your, don't ignore your other son. Just ignore Colin for now. He's a big boy. Oh, okay, I guess I can give you a hug. Come on, let's potty train, Jimmy. Yeah, you're a girl now. You're officially a girl now. You're using the girl's body. And jeez, I have two hours, no, an hour, before you, you're angelic, so, um, you're going to, you're going to love art. Yeah, yeah, you're going to be an artist. You're going to go play with dolls. I'm so cruel, aren't I? Oh, wow. Almost time for school. Hallelujah. 
This mama can take a break for like oh about five hours. Then at twelve sharp they all come back running in. Making a mess, breaking the dollhouse. Fight one of my kids were trying to make a mess. But anyway, I gotta get them all ready for school. Finally, Mama can get some peace. Yeah, we're getting very close to the end of this talk. I honestly think that there's not much to add to anything, but I will just talk for another minute. I hope you guys enjoyed this idea. That way, and when I say Sims Let's Talk, I meant Sims Let's Talk. It can, it could be mixed. It could be The Sims 4, The Sims 3. Won't be The Sims 2 for a while, but if I can get that up and more running, I can do some Sims 2 stuff as well. You know, just to get Sims more into my channel again. I, I, I enjoy the game. What the heck? Go on, go to school! Gosh darn it! Come on, guys, go! Wait, what? What? Are they all just... Come on! Stop skipping school! See? They're, they're being a nuisance even now! Come on, just, just go to school. Go to, uh, go to work. Or school or whatever. See, now, now the phone is ringing. Is this going to be a glimpse of what they're going to be like as teenagers and children? Because if that's the case, I'm already knowing I'm not giving them any my money. I mean, I know, I know to be fair, they're only toddlers, but... Go on, girl! Oh, wait, wait, you're going to work, I think. Please go to work. Okay, I, I, I can't go to school is what I meant, but... Wait, okay, what are you doing? What are you doing, kid? No, 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 you, you cannot talk to me, Ryan. Go to school. It's almost 9 o'clock and you're already... Thank God. You're, you're all you're all at school. You're all at school. You guys are gonna have to learn to behave. All right, guys. I think that is about it. So I hope you enjoyed this little talking session. And if you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and like what you see, please subscribe. It helps this channel a lot. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so you'll know when new videos are coming out. And I will see you guys in my next video.